in the days that we are living now, we have to be very cautious of who we allow to deposit uh, things or words in our ear gate and in our lives. Because everything that you hear and everything that you allow to uh, percolate in your head that you have been given ultimately will have some control over your existence. That's why when I was a baby Christian, I basically just listened to anything. I turned the radio on. Any Christian station that was on, I was listening to it. Turn on the television, any program that said it was Christian, I was listening to it. And I began to realize, beloved, it was not causing me to grow toward God, but it was causing me to grow t toward my own uh, selfishness to get and gain all that I possibly could. In other words, to have a sense of control over God uh, through my prayer, through my living, and everything else. Beloved, it was not teaching me how to honor God, how to get along with God and to become personal with Him. But rather, I was looking for that which would excite me, that would bring me to a place that I knew that God was operating in my behalf. And beloved, many are doing that today. And that's why it is so important for the Holy Spirit to be a vital guide in our lives. And when things are out of kilter, it will uh, give a check in your spirit. I remember a brother in Christ who had, who had come to the Lord. And I remember him desiring uh the word, I mean, really desiring it. Every time I was around him, he had on Christian music or he had on uh, Christian preachers that was uh, preaching at all time. And then one day he stopped me and he, and he said to me, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very confused about this Christianity because it seemed like this preacher is saying that, that preacher is saying this, uh, they're not agreeing with one another. Uh, I, I, I hear a political stance that some are taking that I'm not in agreement with. And beloved, it was not long where this particular individual had forsaken that which is called Christianity and began to walk back in the way uh, that he had come from because he had become confused of what he was hearing. And so, beloved, that's why it's important that we do our study. That's why it's important that we monitor the voices that we hear. And we make sure that that voice is the voice that God desires for us to hear. Because, beloved, beyond measure, we can't go by popularity we cannot go by the fact that uh, someone told us to do this or that uh, or, 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 or brought us to a place where uh, we first heard the word or uh, because someone else goes there. Beloved, we have to be very mindful of what we are depositing in our spirit. Because you know why it's important. Because it is your soul that is at stake. And I think that is very important. We monitor or, 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 or 
choose the restaurants that we go to or the food that we put in our bodies and so should we choose what is entering into our ear gate or our eye gate if we're reading things outside of God's holy and divine word. Beloved, God knows any desire to bring you to that place of full understanding. Beloved, may the Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name.